Hello everyone, it's PCL here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game Gears 5 and increase FPS 2. So I've got a few possible workarounds for this issue, so let's get started. So before performing any steps, in the first step we'll be clean booting our PC because it is recommended to clean boot your PC before performing any of the further steps. So I've already made a complete guide of only 2 minutes on how to clean boot your PC. You can access that video by clicking on the upper right corner of your screen right now or you can find the link of that video in the description of this video. So once you clean boot your PC, proceed to the second and the most important step because second step is the most important one. In this step we will be downloading a game booster. A game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game and it really helps in increasing the performance. So the game booster we will be downloading is Razer Cortex Game Booster. So just search on google download Razer Cortex Game Booster and go to this first link by Razer.com. So once you click on this link you will be redirected to this page. Here just click on download now. And here you have to download this simple 4.54 MB software. It is an installer for this game. Once you download it, it is really simple to install it. But its advanced setup for gamers is a bit complicated. So I've made a separate video on this topic too and you can access that video by clicking on the upper right corner of your screen right now or you can just fi find the link of that video in the description of this video. So it's a bit complicated that's why I've made a separate video because once you open Razer Cortex and you have signed in it, so signed in into the app then you will see this page. Here you can add a game by just clicking on that add sign and browse for the .exe file of the game that you want to add to this game booster. Once you have added that file, you have to search for the game. Like right now here it is FIFA 19. You have to do the same with Gears 5. And once you click start game, it will be boosted. But just watch that video I have told you about about the advanced setup of Razer Cortex Game Booster. And you will be able to do all the settings here. As you can see, there are a lot of settings here. So in that video, the, you will be able to see how to boost your gaming performance by doing advanced setup of this booster. So now let's proceed to the next step. Now let's come to the third step. In this step, we'll be reducing runtime services. So just search for services and press enter. So once you open services app, it will take few seconds to load. And here you have to search for Xbox. And in the end you will find Xbox Accessory Management, Xbox Live Auth Manager, Xbox Live Game Save and Xbox Live Networking Service. Select each of them one by one and in Startup Type, it is selected automatic by default. All you have to do is click on Disabled and click on Apply and OK. Do the same with all the four things. Startup Type, by default it is automatic, you have to change it to Disabled and Apply. For some of it, there might be an option of Startup Type to Manual. All you have to do is click on disable and apply and do the same with the live networking services too. Now search for F that is you have to go for fax. Oh sorry I typed S. Go to F and fax and do the same with fax too. Disable it, apply the setting and ok. So that's it. You can reduce runtime services by disabling the services that are of no use to you. So now let's proceed to the fourth step. In the fourth step, we'll be changing our system's configuration. So let's search for run here and here type msco and fig that is msconfig and click on OK. Wait for it to load, it might take few seconds depending on your PC's configuration. And once it's loaded, in general settings, select selective startup, load system services, and load startup items. Now in boot, by default, there's nothing like no GUI boot. So just select no GUI boot and by default it is about 30 seconds, timeout is 30 seconds, change it to 3 seconds. Now go to services and here by default all the services are ticked. Here click on hide all Microsoft services first and untick all the services that are of no use to you. So I'll untick all the services of, from Adobe. So I'll, uh, I have untick them. I will untick all the services from Google because I don't need any one of them while gaming while playing i have disabled team viewer and i have disabled az kl service so you can look for any other services that is of no use to you and untick that too now in startup go to open task manager 
now here i have disabled everything except the essential items like i have only enabled hd background processes because it is important for me to have proper audio in my pc now rest everything i have disabled for example you can see counter strike window security notification because it's not window security it's just notification video pad steam plan you can disable everything by right clicking on it click enable so that will be enabled and if you want to disable it click on disable so disable maximum of the services startup apps here and this will give a boost to your pc too so that's it for this step apply the settings and click on ok and it will require a restart so once you perform this proceed to the next step now in the fifth step i'll be showing you how to change visual settings of your pc all you have to do is go to your file explorer uh, my bad and here in this right click on this pc and go to properties wait for the properties to load and here go to advanced system settings and here under advanced and under performance click on settings by default these settings are on let's windows choose let windows choose what's best for your computer adjust it's for adjust it for best computer best performance sorry so once you have set it to best performance everything will be untapped all you have to do is just click on smooth edge screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons so once everything is thing is untapped except these two it will give a huge performance boost to your pc as your pc ram will not be used in so many of these things like fade or slide manage into view enable p and everything except these two so once you have done it apply this setting and click on ok and now let's proceed to the last step in the last step we'll be deleting temporary files so temporary files are just waste files and deleting them specifically does not increase your gaming performance but it's give a temporary boost to your pc's performance so here in run search for temp temp and press enter and delete every file present in this folder i have already deleted it so there's nothing in this folder again go to run press percentage sign temp and percentage sign and press enter and delete every file present in this folder too and skip the files that are not being deleted so i've skipped these files for me there are only few files here but if you have not deleted your temporary files for a while there might be a hundreds or maybe a thousands of files here so delete every one of them now go to your c drive and here in windows search for prefetch and in prefetch delete every file present in this folder but i recently deleted all the files here so this is empty too you might have a hundreds of file here too so that's it that's how you can delete temporary files so that's it for this video these are the workarounds that can help you fix the lagging of the game gears 5 or any other game because these were all general fix for every game so it will help you in increasing fps of every game so thank you for watching this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day